Hey, hey, everybody, Bithor here, and we are back with another episode of our Skyrim Let's Play. Now, unfortunately, I, um, off camera went and leveled up our smithing the rest of the way so that we could have the glass armor that we were after. And I went and infiltrated the Thelmor Embassy on camera, but unfortunately the game crashed and the recording was lost. So this is after we've raided the Thalmor Embassy for Delphine, and after our smithing is up to level 70 for making this. Uh, we have three more Malachite, and I'm thinking we're going to upgrade the armor rather than upgrade the weapons. Um, so yeah, let's do that real quick. And now we have an armor rating of 178, which isn't terrible. That's, that's actually decent. Uh, we've got weapons that do a decent amount of damage and look good doing it. Um, so yeah, this is our new little loadout. Um, one thing I did want to do though was I have the recolor mod, as I stated in the previous episode, and I'm thinking we should recolor it. Because we're fire, um, I'm thinking the amber, but that's a lot of gold. You know, it's just really bright. Um, like, like it feels too flashy to me. Like, I mean, look at that. So, maybe we do freezing. Even though it's defined as freezing and we're fire, it's it's a blue instead of the green that uh, glass armor is. And I feel like with that we could uh, we could do like it's blue fire, you know. We could just imagine it as being blue instead of uh, you know. So we need to do that five recolor ingots, and each recolor ingot is 100 gold. So spending 500 gold on this look. Um, there we go. And we could go with the amber. Oh, and for whatever reason, my smithing isn't 100, but I can craft the Daedric and Dragon and Stalheim and... I don't even think you can craft Stalrim in normal. Um, and I check my mods and I'll show them, but I don't have any, like, mods that allow that, and why am I stripping down? Uh... That was odd. Anyways, we'll have to wait till it's not snowing to see the full actual color for this. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll show the mods. I mean, I don't have any, like, mods that should change that. Uh, so I don't, I don't know why I'm able to do that. Uh, I mean, I guess it's just a bug. Hey, good bug, but, eh, you know, at the same time, bad bug. Goodness. Okay, here we go. So, marriage all feminine females, helmetless combat perks, no more dead followers, no more dead merchants, that player home, the dolomite precipitation, the kill move mod we have, the uh, more, more dolomite uh, weathers, uh, the bias tweaks. That was, um, like, that was just a better game improvement. It wasn't anything like uh, crazy that makes you overpowered, and we've had that since episode one or two. Um, unique weapons and armor tweaks, you know, again, had it early on. This, um, this was something that, I mean, all this does is add, uh, different hair colors, uh, for custom characters, and this is, this is for different profiles, not for this one. Uh, unleveled items, or, yeah, yeah, unleveled items, it makes it so that, like, you don't have to be a certain level to get the best version of an enchantment, again, for other profiles. Uh, smelt down allows me to smelt 
nearly everything down, including like weapons and armor for some materials back. Uh, this allows me to change my appearance and such. Don't change your race though, because uh, it resets your stats and such. Um, and then rain and snow effects, that's the, the reason I have the frosty effect around me. Uh, the scaling shouts, uh, the recolor craftable, the rich merchants of Skyrim. Yeah, see, I mean, I mean, nothing here is supposed to uh, give me the ability to craft, and I can probably do this as well. Um, but I, I can craft the orcish, the ebony, the the dragon, the daedric. Well, I don't even have the perks for them. Uh, so that that kind of is a bit of a good thing, but yeah, it's a bad thing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get that. And then light armor. Oh yes, I did buy this perk finally. Um, I'm just gonna save them. So, yeah. Anyways, this is what we've got. So, considering we have the first word for fire breath, um, one, it's fun to use. Sorry. I figured we'd do some companions stuff and uh, get uh, the second word for fire breath. Which you have to do by doing the quest Proving Honor, I think it is. And that's uh, the second, maybe third quest uh, in the Companions. And I know that the first one or two are really, really short, 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 short quests. So... That shouldn't be a huge deal. You look worse than I feel. Oh, whoops. Yeah, well, you you. Ah, fresh blood. Hope you know how to handle yourself. But I still hear the call of the blood. A stranger. Would you now? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, perhaps a certain strength of spirit. Cool. Master. You're not truly considering accepting. I want that. I want that plate. I am Give me that plate. Can can I have? Can I steal this plate? We had some empty the, the plate. I want the plate. I'm gonna. Fire burning in their hearts. Apologies, but perhaps this isn't the time. I've never even heard of this outsider. Sometimes the famous come to us. Sometimes men and women come to us to seek their fame. It makes no difference. I can get in and out what when you have one swing. Heart. Let's That's test that out sometime. Of course. How are you in battle, boy? You dare to question my skill? Well. Don't feel like Vilkis here will be the one testing your metal. Vilkis, take him out to the yard and see what he can do. So now we have to go up out into the yard. Um, and this is basically the first quest. Take up arms. Um, you, you basically just have to go into the yard and hit Vilkas with your sword, like, twice. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways. Here to be a companion? Well, they just let me in, so there's probably... More room. The old man said to have a look at you. So, let's do this. Just have a few swings at me so I can see your form. Don't worry, I can take it. Never should have come I here. Make it. <laughs> Not bad. Next time won't be so easy. You might just make it. But for now, you're still a whelp. Here's my sword. Go take it up to Yorland to have it sharpened. And be careful. It's probably worth more than you are. Not bad. Next time won't be. All right. Then. I'm 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 sorry. Did you just say that your sword is probably worth more than I am? I am the Dragonborn. I'm wearing a way higher class of armor than you. I'm using way higher class weapons than you. I don't care if this is Skyforge steel. Oh, don't worry too much about it. They were all whelps once. 
Don't always just do what you're told. Nobody rules anybody in the Companions. Well, I'm not sure how they've managed it, but they have. No leader since Yzgrim. Kodlak is the Harbinger, and he's a sort of advisor for the whole group. But every man is his own, every woman her own. Not actually a companion myself, but none of them know how to work a forge properly, and I'm honored to serve them. My name is Eorlin Greymane. I work the Skyforge, best steel in all of Skyrim, all of Tamriel. Yeah, okay. I have a favor to ask. I've been working on a shield for Aella. My wife is in mourning, and I need to get back to her soon. I'd be much obliged if you could take this to Aella for me. That's a good man. I'm happy to lend a hand, even though he told me not ju to just not be a servant, or not to just be a servant, but that, that's like a simple errand, you know. Uh, it's just taking a shield. I mean, I'm on my way, you know. Me as well. You're a talkative one, aren't you? Wait, I thought that Ayala was... I guess she walked out right as I walked in. Wait. What's my current quest? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for take up in arms. Or take up arms. One, you? Did you really just say I'm a talkative one? I'm literally a mute. My character is a mute. There is no voice actor for him. The only need, things I say are shouts. Got more to say. If you wish to hunt... Ah, good, I've been waiting for this. Are you new here? Yes. I told you. This is the whelp that Vilkis mentioned. Ah, yes. I heard you gave him quite the thrashing. No yes, I did. Keep your hands to yourself. Really? Do you think you could handle Vilkis in a real fight? I don't care for boasting. Ah, a man of action. Here, let's have Farkas show you where you'll be resting your head. Okay. Farkas. Hey, what's up, Farkas? Call me. Of course we did, Ice Brain. Show this new blood where the Who closed the door? Sleep. It was me. Oh, hello. I'm Farkas. Come, follow me. I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time so hearing you through the door. To deal with all the rabble around here. Skjorn and Ayala like to tease me, but they're good people. They challenge us to be. <laughs> Haven't seen you before, have I? Have we met? Come on, come on. Athos? Worse than I feel. Um. I. You've, uh. Need something? Never mind. All right, so here you are. Looks like the others are eager to meet you. Come to me or Ayala if you're looking for work. Why is he wearing Once Imperial gauntlets and boots, yet he's wearing steel armor? I have things for you to do. Good luck. Welcome to the Companions. Thank you. Bye now. By the way, we've gotten a le- I don't know what the f- I just need you- No more than that. I don't want to- Go. Nice to have a new face around. Sleep in the bed. Okay, we're gonna sleep for. Let's see. So. Um, let's do nine hours. That should put us at about 6.33. Did I get my math right? Yeah. Okay. You look worse than I feel. Yeah, well, you're about to feel worse than I look. If you say something stupid like that again. But then again, I just said something stupid, so whatever. I guess I should go activate the Shrine of Talos to get rid of that. Alright. mercenary you can't scare me into submission let's go come up now you're mine oh 
Wait, I have the uh, elemental fury shell. Open your vesker. Farkas! Some people don't think I'm smart. You seem to have a knack for this kind of thing. I'll make sure people in charge know. Cool. Um. Wait, Farkas, I thought that. Skior was looking for you earlier. Yeah, there we go. Don't know. He just said he needed. I don't like making him angry, but there is some work for you if you want it. All right. Um, we're going to have to do that quest next episode, uh, but there's still a little bit of time left, so we can just roam around and do some random stuff. Um, let's see. What could we do? Hmm. Let's see if the bandits in Valfheim Towers have respawned yet, and if they have, we'll kill a bunch of bandits. Um, because you all know that's one of my favorite activities. Killing bandits. Putting the hurt, chopping off limbs, although you don't actually do that in this, and I don't have the decapitation perk, nor do I want it, because then, at that point, most of your kills become decapitations, and they're just not as various, and it's not as fun. Um, yeah, no, it doesn't seem as though they've respawned. So, maybe we could get to Mistwatch? Yeah, no, I don't really have anywhere that's super close to that. Um, hmm, where could we go to dominate? Uh, let's just check out the player home. Uh, oh, you know what? I've got some dragon scales and dragon bones in there. Maybe we could uh, actually craft the uh, <laughs> glass stuff now that I realize I have that. Um, okay, player home. Okay, uh, first of all, what is the dragon scale specifically? Now, keep in mind, I have the recolor mod, and there's a lot of, um, of uh, different colors for... The dragon plate and dragon scale. Like there's Alduin versions, there's ancient versions, and there's uh, elegant versions. We're gonna go for the elegant uh, whenever we get dragon scale. Yeah, but there's there's Alduin stuff. It's it's really more of an obsidian blue. It's it's not Alduin black. I wish I wish it was. Yeah, and here's the ancient stuff. Um, the ancient is actually like a brightish orange, like that, like that bright orange there. It's actually embroidered with that rather than um, uh, being the same tone as the elegant. And the elegant doesn't look like this either. The elegant is embroidered with that. Um, but we're gonna see what the dragon scale armor takes to craft. Wait, where's it at? Ah, oh, okay, all of this is showing up, but we can't actually craft the dragon. Okay, okay, that's that's good, that's good. Okay, so I still have to level up my smithing. Alright, because to make all of these things, you have to make the base item plus the recolor ingot. Alright, that's good, that's good to know. Thought there was a bug, glad there is not. Okay. Although, also kind of not glad. <laughs> Um, but that's okay, because now we get to enjoy the glass stuff for a while. Um, and, yeah. So, now that we're back in Whiterun, and we're here staring at the Northern Lights, or not the Northern Lights, the Auras, um, oops. 
staring at the auras and the throat of the world with the beautiful moon. Um, I think we're going to end the episode here. And if you enjoyed today's episode, please do leave a like. And if you're not already, subscribe for more. As always, I'm Bithor, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.